Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi 7 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you will soon see, uh, this device is locked, just let me get to that point. Um, okay, so there it is, draw a pattern or use a Google account, whichever one uh, you can use to verify. But assuming you don't know, uh, we can progress by just completely bypassing this. So you want to start off by number one, going to the beginning where you get to choose the language. Uh, so from here, you want to change the language um, to any other language that has just a different keyboard. Um, so for instance, Greek, Turkey, uh, Russian, uh, stuff like that will work. So it doesn't really matter as long as you have an option to change the keyboard. Now I chose Greek for this example. It doesn't really matter. Um, now region doesn't matter. And from here, you want to actually connect to a network. So I already am connected, as you will see right here, to the hard reset.info. Now connect to whatever you have at your home or whatever it is. And then once you connect it, if it proceeds further, you want to go back to the network connection and tap right here to add additional or add a custom one, basically. And just tap on the SSID field and it will pop up a keyboard. So you want to hold spacebar. And after you hold it for about one or two seconds, it pops up with this. So it allows you to change uh, the keyboards. So as you can see, this is the Greek one and you can change it to the normal uh, query. Hold it once more. And now tap on the bottom one right here. It will take you to this page. So right here, tap on the bottom, the blue button. And from here, I uh, choose whichever one, I guess that has an arrow, uh, I think. Let's just check. Okay, this keyboard doesn't actually count. So right here. Um, so basically what you're looking for is any kind of page which the three dots, you will have help and feedback, which is on this right here, the bottom one. So tap on it. And from here, we're now in, we're now in help and feedback. Stop on the search field and search for Morse. M-O-R. Use Morse code. There it is. So tap on that. That's why we also needed the network so we can actually load this. Just tap on the play button, it loads it up. And you want to tap on three dots and choose watch later, which is the clock. Just tap on OK and then double tap on the browser. There we go. Uh, accept. And from here, you want to tap on the search field and navigate into hard reset.info website. Yep, there it is, so that's what we want. Uh, once you're on here, you want to tap on the three bars right here. Then go to the menu and choose download. In the download field, search for Android 8. Now disregard the fact that this is, uh, we're searching for Android 8. Uh, the same software works for this phone, even though uh, if I'm correct, this is on Android 9. Uh, it still works, I already tested it. So, once you search for it, you will come across this. Now, uh, Google account, uh, Android 8 application, bypass. Stop on the download. Again, scroll down. Download once more. Confirm that you want to download. So, you need to allow uh, Chrome to access your storage. And then tap on OK. It begins download and soon after it should come up with a little pop-up. Right there, tap on it. And you will see there is the app that we have downloaded. So tap on it once more. I need to grant permission again. So uh, you want to tap right here. Any kind of option located on the right side is basically a confirming option, while the one on the left is a denial. So once you that, you want to check this on, go back. And now again on the right side to install. Starts the install, finishes, I'm gonna just again accept on the right side and then tap on open, which is this button. And from here, choose Google Account Manager APK install for version 6.0. And again, the same process, allow, check this on, go back and install. And there it is, so now let's go back. And now choose the other option, which is the bypass FRP. 
choose browser sign-in. From here, tap on the three dots and let's go to browser sign-in right here. Confirm it. And here you have the Google login. So here you can use whatever account you wish to use. It doesn't really matter. If you don't have one, you can create a, create a new one on a different device, just so it's easier. And once you create it, you can then use it to log in here. Now I already have one, so I'm gonna use that one. So, and then tap on next. And I'm gonna put in the password. And then again, tap on the blue button uh, to log in. You will see this. Hello, come on. There we go. So it automatically logs in and comes back here. Now I'm not sure how much you've seen of that, considering the screen went dim for some reason. Um, but yeah, that's basically. Once you are back in the FRP bypass app, all you need to do now is hold the power key, choose reboot the circular arrow, tap on it once more. Wait for the device to actually boot back up and once it's back in we're gonna progress to the setup process of the device once more now you want to go back to the first page and at this moment change the language we don't need to we don't need the option for additional keyboard anymore so we can now choose the desired language, which I'm gonna select English. There, stop on next, next. Stop on next again. Agree. Skip this. Don't copy. As you will see right now, account added. So there is the account that we have provided in a previous step and it recognizes it as the added account. So just up on next. And more and more, accept. Next, more, no thanks. Now, you primarily want to skip most of this. Uh, we'll perform another hard reset of the device in a moment, just to get rid of any kind of leftovers from the previous account. So keep that in mind. So it doesn't really matter what we choose at this stage. Okay, so as you can see, we're now on the home screen. From here, you wanna go into the settings and just perform the reset of the device. So let's scroll all the way down to additional settings, I think it is. And uh, where is it? Guess not here. I'm just gonna search for it, so. Back up and reset right here. And then erase all data factory reset. Stop on that. Reset phone. You need to wait a couple of seconds to confirm it. Tap on next and once more, 10 seconds. Yeah. And now the process will begin removing all data. So that also includes the current and the previous account. And once it's finished, then we can go again through the setup process of the device. But this time around, there will be no verification of any sorts and you can just skip 
connecting to network and just set it up as however you like this time. Now as you can see now the process is finished so I'm just gonna skip through most of this just for a quick setup. Mm, let's choose a language. Now number one you can already skip the network connection it doesn't prompt you to do that anymore. And we're basically done once it loads into the home screen. And as you can see now the process is finished. So the device is now fully unlocked and you can use it to the fullest, I guess. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.